Hi, it's uh, me again. Um, I'm just wondering, um, has anyone out there uh, heard of Alex Jones? He's based in Austin, Texas, and he has a radio show on the Genesis Communications Network down there. And he's also made quite a few documentary films um, exposing the New World Order, the Illuminati, uh, the, the police state, FEMA camps, you name it. Alex Jones has, has gone into all of this stuff in his movies and on his radio show. So, I was wondering, uh, for those of you that watch Alex Jones's movies, or listen to his radio show, or watch him here on YouTube on the Alex Jones channel, what's your opinions of uh, Alex Jones? Do you like him? Do you think he's uh, got some good points? Do you think he's genuine? Uh, do you think the stuff he's saying is 100% true? Or do you think it's not true at all? Maybe you think it's it's all, you know, just made up. Maybe it's, you know, not, not like what he's saying. i just basically like to know what you think about Alex Jones because there's a, there's a guy on, uh, well, it's not just one guy, but there's a few people here on YouTube who have been saying that uh, Alex Jones is a Jes Jesuit, Jesu, I can't even say it, Jesuit, uh, Jesuit agent for the government or something. Something like that. CIA disinfo agent is what some people have been saying on YouTube. I don't know if this is true or not, but... That's what some people have been saying on YouTube. So, uh, I'd just like to know your thoughts. Do you think Alex Jones is, the gen is genuine? And he's telling everybody the truth about what's really going on and what's supposed to be coming? Um, let us know your thoughts on this. And I'll be very grateful. And uh, have you watched any of his movies? If so, which ones have you watched? Which ones did you think was the best? Have you got a favourite Alex Jones film? I mean, he's had, what, two new ones out recently? One was Invisible Empire, which was sort of made by Jason Burmas, which is obviously one of Alex Jones' uh, co-workers, partners, whatever you want to call them. And Alex Jones produced the film, I think. Uh, and the other one was Police State 4 which is a continuation of his other police state movies. And what did you think of uh, Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove? Have you seen that one? That's the one where he goes to Northern California, up in the woods. There's a big mansion place with massive grounds and allegedly world leaders uh, congregate there and hold satanic rituals where they throw the effigy of a child into a fire, apparently. And Alex Jones is supposedly sneaked into Bohemian Grove. He hid in the bushes across the lake. And he had a camera in his bag and secretly filmed one of the rituals from across the lake. And it's uh, he enhanced the footage because he, he could only zoom in so far. So they've blown the picture up a bit on his DVD. And you can see like a boat comes across the lake. And this is supposed to carry the effigy of the child you see. And then they take that off there, and then they do all this strange chanting and stuff, and some strange music is playing, and they're sort of dressed up, I don't know, they look a little bit like the Ku Klux Klan to me, from what I could see. And, uh, basically, they, um, did some strange chants and stuff, and then they throw this effigy of the child into the fire. And Alex Jones even went on to say that he wasn't sure whether this was just an effigy. It could have possibly been a real child that was thrown into the fire. So, if you haven't seen that, it's worth checking out. And he made that film with some people from Channel 4 TV here in the UK, apparently. And you see those crew members on that film with them. Because I think they're all staying in the same hotel and stuff. And, uh... If you get the, that DVD, it also has something on called, what was it again? Order of Death. So you get Order of Death, which is also about Bohemian Grove. You get that on the same DVD with Dark Secrets inside of Bohemian Grove, if you buy that. So 
Listen, there's a rather large airliner crossing over, quite low at the minute. I don't live too far away from the airport, you see, so sometimes planes come in a little bit low, shall we say. And there's no chemtrails coming off that one, just in case anyone was wondering, because uh, mostly airliners don't leave uh, any trails unless they're really, really high up, and most of them are just condensation trails, unless they're some of the variety that's mixed uh, uh, chemicals with the jet fuel, which according to Alex Jones, that is what they do with some of the airliners, they mix chemicals with the jet fuel, so it leaves chemtrails across the sky. So that means it's not just unmarked planes that are spraying chemtrails, it's also some of the airliners because they mix it in with the jet fuel. Whereas on the unmarked planes, those planes are full of barrels connected to pipes, tubes, which are connected to spray nozzles on the wings of the plane, etc and they deliberately just spray stuff out of these spray nozzles across the skies. Allegedly. So, anyway, that's uh, a few things there both worth thinking about. So please, if you can, uh, it would be great if you could leave a video response if you feel like doing that, and let us know what you think of Alex Jones, whether you think he's genuine, whether you think he's working for the government or somebody, uh, just let us know your thoughts and which of his movies did you like the best. Okay, so once again, I'll just say bye for now and I'll see you next time. Or rather, you'll see me of course. Unless you send a video response like I said before. Okay, bye bye.